In this video here, we're going to show you how to make the new iTunes 10 just the way it should be. So we're going to load it. And just the way I have it on mine, as you can see, my spotlight is back to normal just the way it is on all Apple applications and my library I have color in my library so how to do this so your new iTunes 10 on a Mac is not an outcast this is what you do you go to your terminal if you guys have terminal you load your terminal here When you load terminal, you'll get a window like this. After loading terminal, because this is mine. And then there is a text that you have to write, which is This text right here. As you can see it, I'll leave all this in the video description. This is all one word, starting from defaults to Windows minus one. Then you hit enter and then you reopen iTunes 10. So keep in mind all this is done when iTunes 10 is closed. And how to get the color back into iTunes 10. You go to your application folder. So in your applications folder here, you would find iTunes 10. Right click. Show package contents. Okay. So now you're in another window, which is this one. And you're going to open this. And you're going to go to resources. And you scroll down. And this file here is what you're going to change. So you want to back up this file here. So let's back it up. Okay. And you're going to add another file that looks like this. So I already have it backed up. So this is my backup file. And this is what you're going to download, which is called iTunes 10 Color. And this is what you copy and paste. So you replace the original one with the colored one. And then all this is done when iTunes is closed. Then you reopen iTunes, then you're all done. And you're all back to normal. Just the way iTunes is supposed to be with color, with the spotlight the same as every other application. So I hope this video helps, and if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to send me a note. Alright, 